Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, YouTube. Good morning, good morning to my YouTube family. It's an honor to be part of the YouTube family. And for the ones that's especially an honor to be part of ones that's connected to the Heavenly Father and learn of his son, Yeshua HaMashiach, and follows the Ruach HaKadosh, AKA the Holy Spirit. Now y'all gonna hear some raindrops on my window as I speak, cause it's raining. So you're gonna hear raindrops. You're gonna hear, you're gonna hear a lot of cause it's, it's, um, it's doing its thing. Father, Father feeding the earth, watering the earth. The earth got a drink too, right? Period. Now let's talk about, I got four topics I want to talk about. So I'm trying to do them within 20 minutes. Within 20 minutes. And I'm going to be fast about it. First thing I want to talk about is wages of sin. The payout for sin is what? Death. What do death mean? Death can go two ways. We all are sinners. We all have fallen short of the glory of the Father. We all have fallen short not following the instructions of the Father. And still, many are still short. Many are still sinning on a regular basis. But we know that one day we have to get up off this earth. So we gotta go we gotta go by death because the father cannot take this flesh that is corrupt into an incorruptible place. So that's a, that's sums that up of why we have to die to cross over. Because with this flesh, it's a corruptible body. So we cannot make it into the kingdom with a corruptible body that it's not going to be allowed now the father do not and I and I constantly say this and I and I and I'm going to continue on saying this the father do not make you or force you to love him that is your free will he do not make you or force you to love him period that is your free will. If you choose not to love him, that was your choice. You go where you made your choice. Wherever you made your bed at, you gonna lay at. Y'all know that your traditions that's being said in this world. You made your you made your bed hard, lay in it. But you know it's not it's something else how it go. You made a, you made your bed hard, you lay in it. You made something something other. I can't remember, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Go down. Traditions. It's all going to add up together. Traditions. Mark 7, 7 through 9. Many rejects the Father commandments, the Father ways, the Father statutes, the Father laws. And y'all take more heed to traditions of men. Meaning the symptomatic, the system that a lot of souls are connected to we were born and we were born in sin shaped into iniquity we were shaped into traditions of men aka that's connected to that dragon that serpent that ugly stinking rotten old satan they come down to deceive the whole entire world he deceived us all now we we all been deceived but the father woke many of his children up. I got woken up in 2019 and a couple of other ones I came across got woken up in 2019. And that was a question that was um, asked, why did the father wake us up in 2019? I have no clue. I can't answer that one. I just know that he gave us his spirit. He gave us his spirit for times like this because now it's very, very dangerous just to live in this world you don't know who gonna take you out 
which in Matthew 10, 27, it says, fear not the one that just can kill the body. Meaning, don't fear Satan, because he can just kill the, kill the body. Fear the father that can kill the body and destroy the soul. That's who you fear. But many people don't want to do the work to, from... Do the, the, do the hard work to disconnect from the traditions and get into the commandments of the Father. It's hard. Growth is hard. I don't know how to do it by myself. It's so much, it's so many people just codependent on traditions. Well, my mama said, well, my daddy said, no, no, no. What did God say? What did the Father in heaven say? What did he say do? But a lot of people don't like to put the father in nothing they'd rather put their parents or anybody else that they can fall on and that's how satan got the world hooked up to this system many of you call it matrix i call it a system of darkness it's a system of darkness matrix you know they the matrix is a wound so you still in darkness in a wound that's what matrix mean a wound it's in the bible it's in the word of the father a lot of people say the word is tampered with. Baby, I don't get down with those type of folks. I detach from anybody speak that foolishness. I don't even want to talk. I don't even want to listen to you no more. It was one guy. He was talking real good. See, one thing about Satan, he's real crafty. He's real cunning. He masquerades as an angel of light. And if you, you got to really observe you got to do an observa uh, observation on souls. You just can't go by the first impression, the second impression. You got to stay close to these people. Because sooner or later, the enemy is going to show himself through that person. People don't realize that you're not of yourself when you follow darkness. You do dark things. You talk dark. Darkness is nothing but a traditional cycle that is a, a system that people just follow. It's it's an it's a instruction that people follow in this physical world, but it's not nothing of the Father in the spiritual world. So a lot of people be, talk more traditions than they do spiritual. They get their they get their um they get their downloads and their information off of what they see in this world and then they'll try to mix a little bit of the father to it like they they really misconstrue the father's word real bad and you got so many people you know i don't um i don't believe in the word and i seen a video where the, uh, the guy said he don't believe in the bible and the people asked him say well where you get your understanding from he said his intuition what is an intuition to you is you in tune to your flesh or you in tune into the spiritual realm. You got to worship one or the other. Your flesh or your spirit. And the flesh, if you worship in your flesh and you worship in this uh, physical world, you rocking with Satan. But if you are going with the flesh, I mean the spirit, and you connect it in the spirit and you hear the spirit, some spirit talking to you or whatever, as people call it, it's very confusing to me, but... I'm going to put it like this. I thank the Father in heaven that I know him. The Father is not going to put you in no situation to harm you. Your lack of understanding will put you in situations to harm you. And your lack of understanding, <coughs> excuse me, your lack of understanding is because you're following the flesh. That's why when I talk to people, I listen to them carefully. I do not. I used to be one that just jumped. Oh, they talk so good. But the father had to put me through some training. And the father training is severe. Ain't too many people can stand his training. His training is, is tough. I'm here to tell you. The father training. Woo -hoo, woo. Just like if you go in the military, a lot of people cop out in the military because the training is hard or people that start new jobs in the beginning the training is hard that's the same way go for our father many call few are chosen only the chosen ones can 
go through the long suffering. Anyway, traditions is really a big downfall. People really just speak on a lot of their their downfalls or what they experience or what another pe another person experienced from them. But it's a lot of people that use what they've done to others and they speak on it. it, it it's, it's so very intriguing of what you see in this world. I mean, it is. And I always say this again. I thank the Father in Heaven that I can see clearly, spiritually. I can't stay long, though. Renew your mind. That's Romans 12, 2. A lot of people have a problem with renewing their mind. Dumping out all the toxic traditions of men and learning of our father and his son and following the Holy Spirit. A lot of people don't like to do the inner work. A lot of people still living in fear. A lot of people still living in torment. A lot of people still living in toxicity. A lot of people don't know where to start because you're so deep. Many are so deep into darkness they just can't comprehend light they, they just can't comprehend the light they just can't renew their minds they're so impoverished that they're just they just they just at the at the at the peak of life they just I, I'm, I'm just done it's no you know it's no going back I'm in it I die in it so the wages of sin is death that's why the Father said in his word, everyone that come to me that day saying, Lord, Lord, meaning on judgment day, you won't make it in. Because you don't want to comprehend to his way. You'd rather take the easy route and reign with Satan. All day, all night, forever and forever. You'd rather enter in damnation and allow yourself to to live in condemnation so therefore you're gonna just do what you do I, I, I don't want to renew my mind I don't want to learn I don't I'm too old to learn I'm too old old dogs old old dogs don't learn new tricks so yeah that's a tradition meaning a, a soul that's been in these dark portals for so long they don't want to come out they're comfortable I'm comfortable where I'm at I just find somebody else that I can eat off of well, it's time to kill. It's time to kill. And and people are dying. People are really dying. TV stars, as y'all call them, celebrities that y'all look up to, they're dying. They're dying. They're really dying. Y'all looking up to something that got to go just like you got to go got to worship the father in heaven like you supposed to worship the father in heaven but y'all don't want to do that but i mean like i said that's your choice that is your choice last but not least bad communications corrupt good manners that's first corinthians 15 33 now i don't care what you read king james version the nlt version the niv version the ESV version, new translation, the Hebrew, the Greek, I don't care what you read. It might be printed different. But it's the Father's Word. A lot of people don't believe in the Father's Word. It's just a book. Ain't nobody supposed to be reading that book every day. What are we going to do with that book every day? Huh. That's why your life is going in circles. Like Luther Randolph say, wow, you got me going in circles. Yes, you're going in circles. Just circles, round and around and around and around in a cycle. And you just can't stop it. 
you spinning around and around and around and around. You on a faceless clock. Because you haven't woke up and noticed what time it is. Literally, it's time to get it together. We don't have time to be wasting. And you shouldn't be allowing nobody to come in your life and take away your good manners, your good morals. You shouldn't allow nobody to turn you. If somebody got you bent, you better unbend and go and get on that straight path. Y'all act like detaching from people is so hard to do. No, it's so hard to stay in something toxic. It's so easy to detach. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to feel the, um, the after fact. I mean, the aftermath. I'm sorry. You're going to feel the aftermath. Because you've been in it so long, you start to train yourself that this is what's right. No, it's not right. You actually disrespecting yourself at this point. That person or those people aren't disrespecting you anymore. You are disrespecting you. But that's what people want to do. I'm not reigning with nothing evil. I don't attach myself to nothing evil. I'm not begging no demon. Now that I got my spiritual eye on, on the father woke me up in spirit. I ain't attaching myself to no demon. You best to believe it now. And I'm not playing. I mean with everything I say. I don't care who you is. You can be my children. I love you dearly. I'm going to pray for you. But I ain't attaching myself to no demon. I love. I'm telling you who to follow. To get your mind right. Get your heart right. Get your spirit right. Get your soul right. But if you don't want to get it right. I'm not going to come in your life and get it wrong with you. And that's just period. But I love you all. I got to go. It's My time is up. I love you all. And growth ain't easy. But staying in a, a position or a place where you can't grow is foolish. Blessings, love, peace, happiness within not without work on your inner self the true self stop wearing on this stop worrying about this flesh you know y'all keep that up anyway you already know that's a that's a daily routine but blessings to each and every one of you much love